<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. It's a, it's a mech mod. It's a 2700 battery mech mod. This is manufactured in Russia by Viva La Cloud, being sold in the United States by District 5. This is just uh, one really hard hitting mech mod from top to bottom. I've been having just an unbelievable time with it. I got to top with that gold recoil rebel right now. And in order to get to know this mech mod and this really interesting switch. It's got a really unique, really interesting switch, which is which is the main thing that makes this mech mod so unique and makes it hit so well. But in order to get to know all of this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we often do. That's right, quick, short, uppy, closey time. I'm waving my hands around a lot. I don't know why I'm doing that so much. Quick, short, uppy, closey time, go. <clears throat> All right, well, here we go. We're gonna talk about the L Thunder 2700 mech mod. This is a brass tube, Cerakoted. They also do, you know, naked brass tubes as well as aluminum in a few different colors. It's a 26 millimeter mech mod. It kind of swoops down to 24 in the, min in the middle, swoops back out to 26, and then swoops back down to 24 at the top. I'm rocking it right now with the Recoil Rebel, which is 25 millimeters around. So the fit and finish, the tolerances, yeah, it works, but it's still, it's just just a little bit off. If I throw a 24 millimeter atomizer on there, like the Phobia, you can kind of see, yeah, that's how it's that's how it's actually supposed to be on there. That's what the tolerances look like at the top. So coming down here to the switch, I want to take this apart, and I was really weirded out the first time I got this. I was really weirded out by what I saw inside, because that's what I saw. Looks weird, right? But even though this looks weird, this is what makes this switch so unique. They call it the Collet switch system, and basically all that's happening right now is this is default. This is switch in the button screwed together. Then I took this off and this is how it looks without this on there, if that makes sense. This is kind of default mode. So your switch is in constant contact with the body of your mech mod. And on the inside, if I pull this out, you have a spring and a contact right here. And the spring in this actually isn't doing anything but taking up for battery rattle. It's not conducting anything. What's happening is one side of this contact is touching your battery, one side of this contact is touching the brass button down at the bottom and completing the circuit. They have a three millimeter contact right here, so you can have a little bit of a longer throw. And there's a little bit longer of a contact that's four millimeters millimeters, so when this is all together, you're going to have a little bit shorter of a throw. And then they also include this brass cuppy looking one that you can snap on here for 18650s. They put the vent hole for this in the bottom, and they say that because the vent hole is in the bottom, that you should run your batteries positive side down. I am always a proponent of running your batteries positive side up. It's just a safer situation overall, but because the vent hole is in the bottom of this, I've been running my batteries batteries positive side down. When you run your batteries positive side down, you have to be extra careful, extra diligent in the quality of your batteries and the quality of your battery wraps. You want your battery wraps to look like this, to basically look flawless. Not basically, you want them to look flawless. Any tiny little gouge or nick or tear in these battery wraps can lead to eh, less than desirable results. If you're running your battery in here positive side down like it is now, and this is all screwed together, you can hit that fire button. It's a very firm, firm press. But if you're going along and you've got your battery in here and it's, uh, it's, it's vaping and it's going well and you have a tear in that battery wrap, and you press that button and the bare battery underneath the battery wrap is coming into contact with the inside of this tube mech mod, it can hard short your battery and lead to a potential sort of battery failure runaway situation, which is less, less, less than desirable. We want to be safe at all times. Always remember that when you're using a mech mod, you, the user, are the safety. There is nothing in here to protect you. There's no short circuit protection there's no reverse battery protection, there's no no protection, nothing in here. So when you're using a mech mod, you need to know about things like Ohm's Law, you need to have an atomizer that has a very static and protruding 510 pin on it. The Phobia is a perfect example of this. It's got a nice protruding 510 pin right there. The 510 pin comes past the threads. If that 510 pin was flush with the threads or God forbid, recessed down below the threads, and 
you screwed it onto a hybrid mech mod that directly contacts your battery and you threw this battery in here and you hit that button, that contact not protruding would just straight hard short your battery in, the, in a second, in a split second. So safety first, always make sure you have a protruding 510 pin. I feel zero guilt for repeating myself when I say that. Make sure your atomizer has a protruding, protruding 510 pin. So yeah, that's really all there is to see here. It's a really unique switch and I'm gonna go ahead and put this switch together. I'm gonna take the button right here and I'm gonna put on that four millimeter contact because I like a little bit shorter of a throw. I'm gonna put my 2700 iJoy battery in there. We are gonna do positive side down because the vent hole is on the bottom and I'm well aware of this battery wrap. It's in flawless, flawless, pristine condition. So the battery goes in, you take your little housing ring right here, throw the switch in there and that's it. Screw this all together. There's nothing to adjust. There's nothing to fiddle with. It's done. It's together. It's a done deal. Throw this recoil rebel back on here. Press the button and ho oh, ho, vapors. Vapors happening all over the place. So cool. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. Yes. Yes and a half. It's just, it just hits real hard. This mech mod, there's no way around it. It just hits real hard. And like I said, I first got it and I was real confused by that switch. I took the little housing, sorry, I have to drip right now, but I took that little housing off of the bottom of the switch and I saw the weird tangs and the weird collet and the way that the switch like fit in there and then the spring with the contact and I pulled the contact and like the contact popped off and I was like, fuck, I think I just broke this. I, I was real, real confused until I spent some time with it and went, oh, okay, well, there's this one. It's the smaller one. This one's the bigger. Oh, that's for 18650s. Oh, okay. They just pop on and off. Oh, I see what's happening. There's two contacts that are hitting. The spring doesn't really do anything because of those tangs, because the button is in constant contact with the exterior of this mech mod. And they even say that it's like a self cleaning system because the switch is gliding, is moving and pressing up and down those tangs. It keeps it clean and it keeps those points of contact very conductive. It is a hybrid 510 on top, which is something to be really careful with. I'll never feel bad for just saying battery safety things over and over and over again. Make sure your battery wraps are flawless in pristine condition because you're going to be using them positive side down in this, which is not ever my favorite thing ever. The button itself on the bottom, really nice, really very smooth and glidey. It's really quick and responsive. As soon as you press it, it just, it just fires and fires and fires real consistently. There's no locking feature on here, but it is recessed and it does have a fairly firm press. You would have to really try hard to get this to fire without you pressing that button. I mean, it would have to be like, in a backpack, leaning on something with a point that could press it and like being pressed down. I don't feel like in your day-to-day -day use or in my day-to-day -day use that this button ever gets pressed accidentally. I have that four millimeter contact in here, which makes for a very, very, there I said it, a very, very short throw. It is a hair trigger and let me tell you, it just hits Great. I know that's such like an anecdotal thing to say like, oh, this mech mod hard, it hits really great. And this mech mod hits even harder than this one that already hits really great. It's a very anecdotal thing to say that something hits really hard. But when I vape this recoil rebel with this Turk build in here, which I have vaped across a multitude of mech mods with this same exact battery, I do notice a significant difference in how hard this L Thunder mech mod hits. When I say hits, I mean how powerful and how responsive it is. Just hits well. Now, even though this is a 24 millimeter top cap here, I've been running it with the Recoil Rebel, which is a 25 millimeter atomizer, and it fits on there well, and it looks 
okay. I would like it a lot more if this was a 25 millimeter mech mod, but with that said, it is a 24 millimeters around the top. I've had no problem putting any atomizers on this 24, 22, or 25. They all kind of fit and work pretty well on this mech. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands for something like this? Yeah, you kind of are. Clicking over to District 5, they have it for sale. It's $130, $131 actually. So, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a pricey. This is a pricey mech mod. 131 bucks is a lot of money for a mech mod. Now, if we were going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left. Is the L Thunder mech mod something I would seek out and buy? I really want to say yes, but I just don't think think so. And I'm not saying that it's a bad mech mod or that it really bummed me out or anything like that. There's a few little minor, minor gripes I have with it that if changed, then I would strongly consider purchasing this mech mod. I personally wish it was 25 millimeters around the top. That's a very selfish thing for me to say, but I do wish it was 25 millimeters around the top. I do like this little canyon that they have right here, so you can kind of fit it right here in the crook between your thumb and your finger and hit it with your finger right there. But this little crook has these grooves cut into it that make it feel fairly uncomfortable. I just wish this was smooth to smooth to smooth. It would be a lot more comfortable in my hand instead of having that sort of you know, ribbed for her pleasure look. And that $131 price tag, yeah, that's pricey. I mean, that's nothing to blow your nose at. And one last thing, I don't like that they make you run your batteries positive side down. To make this a buy mech mod for me, the venting has to be at the top and the battery has to be run positive side up. And I don't wanna use the word careless because it's not careless. I just wish that the vent holes were in the top. It would not have been difficult to just just maybe drill two holes right here into this angled part and then we could run our batteries positive side up and have an overall much safer experience mechanical mods in general I don't you know I don't I hate using the word dangerous but they require a little bit more know-how when you're using them as far as like battery wraps and ohms lawn resistance and cleaning your contacts and things like this. There's already a lot of due diligence and responsibility when you're using a mech mod in order to use it safely and throwing in added due diligence of having to run your battery upside down and making sure that those battery wraps are in flawless condition. I feel like that's just another thing. It's another step. It's another thing to keep in mind when you're using a mech mod in order to keep using your mech mod as, as safely as possible. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm done rambling. It is what it is. It's the L Thunder 2700 version of the mech mod manufactured in Russia, available at District 5. I'll throw a link down in the description where you can check it out if you were interested. But yeah, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping.